Oh, good morning, fuckers. Back on the road, man. Shit. Well... I had to get the fuck out of that spot early this morning. That's why I didn't film from my tent this morning. I was on private property. It's whole, both sides of the trail are all posted private property for the last fucking like 10 miles or so. So whatever, leave no trace. I got the hell out of there. It didn't cause any damage. I was kind of paranoid last night. Went to, went to sleep. I heard a couple of widow makers fall pretty damn close to my tent, <laughs> but we made it. We survived. So I just got up here to the road to make my coffee this morning. Um, I mean, the good thing out of yesterday, I didn't want to push the 12 miles because I'm trying to kill time out here. I don't want to get to Pittsburgh too early, but the good news is I only have six miles to get into town today. It'll bring us into Confluence, uh, Pennsylvania, and uh, there's a, a outflow, I can't remember, these, these river names, I'm not even going to try to pronounce them because uh, I look retarded, but um, there's an outflow campground of this river up here in Confluence, and I, I figured it'd be pricey, and they do have like electric rv sites too and but they have hiker biker sites too that are fairly inexpensive i think they're only 14 dollars a piece for the night so i actually booked uh last night i had service and i booked two nights uh there at the campground so it was only 28 bucks for two nights and it should be a beautiful location and i i don't mind hanging out for a couple days mainly because you know I'm, i have less than a mile 100 miles to pittsburgh at this point so i'm gonna end up having to kill time somewhere and it might as well be at a really good campground um, and I'll be able to take some good photos, uh, and shouldn't be too busy because, uh, what well, today is Wednesday or Thursday. I can't remember. It's not the weekend is what I'm trying to get at. So hopefully it won't be too crowded there, but it is summertime. So we'll see. Anywho, I'm going to get this coffee in me. It's uh, still fairly early, like 7:30, So it's nice and cool. And, uh, we'll mosey our ass down to six miles and get into Confluence, Pennsylvania. Man, that should be a great fucking day. in a mile on the confluence nice easy walk this morning it's getting fucking humid as shit out though i am dripping with sweat so the nice cool morning we had was short-lived but i managed to get the six miles in before lunch so i don't believe the check-in to this campground is through until 3 p.m so i'm about to find a cafe coffee shop restaurant that's got wi-fi i'll be able to upload my videos and kill time stuff my face I'm talking head over that campground, man. We'll see you fuckers there.
Outflows, welcome to camp, man. Outflow, whatever the fuck, campground in uh, Confluence, Pennsylvania. Wonderful. Went into Mitch's gas station and restaurant. Believe it or not, the best two food places I've been to on this trail were both at like gas stations. <laughs> the one in Pawpaw, West Virginia, and this one. Very good burger. Um, pretty much the only thing that was open. That's why I went there. But um, yeah, I camp early. It's about 2:30. Um, I was just killing time, but I could have checked in here anywhere. Um, they do have the hiker biker section down the pathway here, but it's beautiful nice green grass got the river right here I was just down bullshitting with that guy down there. There was a snake with a fish in its mouth down there pretty fucking crazy Something you don't see every day, but this is pretty fucking cool and something you don't see every day either Is this umbrella? I'm sitting underneath and underneath is actually a solar powered charging station and check this out. No, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Boom, charging. for the evening it's about 7 30 ish sun is finally starting to dip down it got hot as shit today even though it is six miles just hanging around here at this fucking campground all afternoon it got up to 85 and i was just the, the sun has drained my fucking ass but finally starting to cool off this is a pretty popular camp uh campground it's wednesday it's you can't see behind me, but it's, it's loaded up <laughs> this weekend's gonna be even worse but i'm sure i'll be gone by then because i just reserved tonight and tomorrow night it's supposed to have some thunderstorms overnight tonight and maybe part of the day tomorrow, but by the time I hit the trail on Friday, it looks uh, pretty good. And that'll bring me to Ohio Pile. It's only 10 miles from here. <laughs> this fucking trail, man. It's like, oh, carry one day food. Is this what hiking the Camino is like? Holy shit. I mean, it's nice getting in, getting town food and shit, but I need to be in the wilderness for a little longer <laughs> than a couple of days to feel normal. But it is what it is. Um, sitting at my like mile 61 of the trail right now so well we'll do what we can relax this uh next couple days here um maybe get some photos i'm here by the river and it's quite beautiful down there i'm not quite motivated tonight to go take photos but maybe tomorrow night all right i'm gonna hop in my tent edit some photos and video and we'll holler at you fuckers when we're back on trail man